So for question number 20, we need to fix the electron configurations and figure out which principles are being violated. So let's start with the first question, with oxygen. So we have, let's start by seeing how the orbitals are being filled. So the 1s orbital, which is the lowest energy orbital, is completely filled. The second lowest energy orbital, 2s, is not filled at all, while the 2p orbitals are being filled. So this violates the off-ball principle. So remember that the off-ball principle states that you must fill the, or ener the orbitals from the lowest energy to highest energy. So you cannot fill the 2p orbitals, which are higher in energy, before you fill the 2s orbitals. So let's count how many electrons we have to, um, um, to correct this mistake. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So let's start from the lowest energy orbital. 1, 2, so now this also follows the Pauli exclusion principle, which states that we can only have a maximum of two electrons in each orbital. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So you have to remember that on here, we also have to follow Hund's rule. So Hund's rule states that you have to distribute the electrons evenly before you start pairing it, between the orbitals of the same energy before you start pairing them up. So since we had four electrons, we had to first distribute the three evenly between the orbitals before we added the fourth electron. So this is the correct electron configuration for oxygen. So let's move on to the next question. So for nitrogen, let's see how the orbitals are being filled. So the 1s is completely filled, okay. The 2s, the second lowest energy orbital, is filled, okay. For 2p, we have three electrons. However, one orbital is completely filled, while another orbital of the same energy is not filled at all. So this violates Hund's rule. So let's see how we can correct this mistake. First, let's count how many electrons we have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, six, seven. So we have seven electrons. So let's again start from the lowest energy level. So one, two, three, four. And now we have to make sure to divide, um, distribute the three electrons evenly between the two p orbitals. So one, two, three. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is the correct electron configuration for nitrogen. Okay, let's go to the next the last question, sulfur, the electron configuration for sulfur. So let's see how the um, the electron, the, the orbitals are being filled again. So the 1s, the lowest energy electron, uh, the orbital is completely filled, okay. The 2s is not filled at all, while the 2p is now, like, uh, orbitals are now being filled. Now this violates off-ball principle, because remember, the lowest energy orbitals have to be filled before the higher energy orbitals. Okay, so let's see if there's anything else that's wrong with this. Oh, we see that some of these orbitals have three electrons. That violates Pauli's exclusion principle because Pauli, remember, stated that there can only be a maximum of two electrons, uh, plus one half and minus one half. Um, and then also another rule is being violated here. These orbitals in the 3p are being completely filled while this 3p orbital is not there are no electrons at all. So this also violates Hunt's rule because you need to distribute the electrons um, evenly between the same energy orbitals before you pair them up. So let's see how many electrons we have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, so let's start from the lowest energy orbital. 1, 2, 3, 4. So when there are multiple orbitals of the same energy, I always like to start by filling one electron in each um, orbital before I start pairing them together. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This just allows, um, always allows us to always make sure that we follow Hun's rule. So we have ten electrons so far, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So this is the correct electron configuration for sulfur.